In this video, I'll show you how to use Gremlin to test the resiliency of your Kubernetes cluster to worker node failures. With Kubernetes and other cloud native platforms, we need to anticipate that our servers and systems will eventually fail. Node failures can lead to many other failure modes, including application crashes, decreased cluster capacity, increased load on other nodes, and potential data loss. We need to know that an unexpected failure won't compromise our cluster or our applications, and we can validate this using Gremlin. Our example application is an e-commerce shop called The Online Boutique, which sells a variety of accessories, clothes, and trinkets. We're running this on a three-node Kubernetes cluster on a public cloud provider, and the application itself consists of 12 deployments. On the right side of the screen, I have two terminal windows open running a tool called Canines. The top window shows the 12 deployments, and the bottom window shows our three worker nodes. Each deployment has been scaled up to two replicas distributed across all three nodes. In theory, this should mean that no matter which of our three nodes fails, all of our deployments will have at least one other replica to fall back to. But of course, we want to make sure that this works in practice. So for this experiment, we're going to terminate one of our worker nodes at random and monitor both our application state and cluster state to determine the impact. My hypothesis is that when the attack runs, one of the worker nodes will report as unhealthy and several of the pods will also report as unhealthy, but we should be able to load balance traffic to the remaining nodes and the remaining pods without any noticeable downtime while the failed pods are rescheduled. So first, I'm going to switch over to Gremlin. I'm going to create a new attack by going to Attacks and then New Attack. Since I'm targeting an entire node, I'll click Infrastructure and make sure Host is selected. But rather than picking a specific node, I'd rather pick one at random. So I'm going to go down here to Cluster, and I'll select my Kubernetes cluster. And we'll see that the three nodes here are highlighted. I'm going to go down here to the percent of targets to impact change this to a number, and then change this to one. This way, Gremlin will pick one of these three nodes to run the attack on, and I won't know which one until the start of the attack. Next, I'll scroll down to choose a Gremlin, make sure state is selected, and then select shutdown. I'll decrease the delay to zero so the attack starts immediately, and uncheck reboot, and I'll click unleash to start the attack. And while the attack is running, we'll keep an eye on our K9's windows, and also the website itself, to see what the impact is. So now that the attack has started, we see that one of our nodes has become unavailable. Several of our pods have also become unavailable. Let's check our website. So we can actually browse the website. Everything appears to be working fine. We can add items to our cart. We can place orders. Orders complete successfully. And there appears to be no noticeable interruption in performance or features. This experiment was successful in demonstrating that having these two replicas for each of my deployments was a good idea but I might want to double check my auto scaling rules and auto healing rules to make sure that I can replace this node quickly and effectively just to ensure that I don't experience any future downtime. In any case, as I make my changes, I should continue running this test periodically and even schedule it to run automatically to ensure that the cluster continues to stay resilient over time.